Right, welcome back guys. I'm back in the engine room now. I think this is going to be our home for a little bit really. So basically today my aim is to sort of get as many of the bad bits out as we can. Um, and then we can then come along and do some steaming and laminating the frames and getting them in. So the first things we need to do is get rid of this knee because we've got a rotten frame just behind here. I've marked it but on the other side. So we've got a bad frame there. It's a shame that the, the web's actually quite good, but to get to the frame, we need to take some of the web out. So we're gonna come down a bit lower on the web and then we can take the knee off, get all that prep then, can't we? Right, so it's clean, scraped, hoovered, and basically perhaps wants a quick paint now. So we're going to put like a primer on it. So, and then once all that's dry, then we can start fitting all these then, can't we? Oh yeah. Our phone's amazing. You think in this little tiny phone, I've got access to over 6,000 national and international titles, all made possible with Readly. Readly is an app that is just so easy to use, really, really simple to download, and I can read all my favorite magazines whenever I want. The thing I love most about Readly is that you can read your favorite magazine wherever you are, even when you're offline and you're sat on an aeroplane, which is really, really great. And you haven't got to lump around loads of magazines. Everything is just in this little phone, which you've always got your phone with you, haven't you? And it's also environmentally friendly because we're not wasting trees on magazine printing. They're there at the palm of your hand. We can also have multiple accounts. So just by having one account with Readly, we can have up to five different profiles which is great because we've all got one at home on our phones. I love the feature of searching. If there's something that I'm interested in reading about, especially for the boat, if there's a project that we're working on, you can search by keywords and it'll find the relevant articles for you, which makes it so much easier than having to scroll through loads of different magazines, trying to find the information that you want. I love reading the Passage Maker magazine. Gives us inspiration and ideas as to where we want to go in the future at Sarinda. And Simon loves going through the classic boat magazine while he's in the bath. Sign up to Readly today and get a two month free trial and you can cancel any time so it's risk free. Give it a go. It feels a bit strange using white paints, considering everything else is grey on the boat. But you may as well do like a white base on you if the top coat is going to be white. So it's a white primer. So they're now on the radiator. Should dry pretty quick on the rad. Um, and I wanted to open up the decks. So, somewhere around there is where we need to put them in, so we'll figure out. But the water's actually coming in at the moment, as you can see. It's not a massive tide today, but we will float. So, 
be good to get these in and then when the tide goes out later then we can get them nailed right so we've successfully found out where the frames go in that's where they go so I don't know if you can look right down there probably not uh, see the two scarves so we're not gonna give the tops a quick paint um, and then we'll slip them in but we've still got some water so water's still coming in ever so slightly so we can't really put them in just yet because the epoxy might go off so what we're going to do i think what we've been meaning to do because we started to clean up the engine room is that we're going to dry the bilge or dry as much as we can in the engine room there's all sorts of scum and stuff like that but we've never ever had to pump it out so it'd be interesting to see what's um, at the bottom and then we're doing media stuff yeah always on the emails you would believe how you think we just filmed this and like go go back to our daily life, but Gemma Gemma does like you wouldn't believe the amount of people she has to speak to just to make this happen, doing. So she's good, isn't she? Alright, so before we suck out the bills, we're jumping ahead. What we need to do is paint the inside of the the planks where um where the frames go again. So I've got my glamorous assistance. What are you doing? No good jump are you? What are you looking at? So last time you were working outside, we had a lot of people going, Oh, I thought your hull was double diagonal and it only got one one skin. So the reason that there's only one skin here is because the outer one stops further down. Um they've cut it back and they've done that for when the bulwarks went on. So yeah, it is double diagonal, but One's higher, one's lower. But well, yeah, if you look at like the angle of the, the planks there, that one goes up that way and then the outer ones go there. But then the outer ones, you see the outer ones are here, so very hard to film, but then they basically cut them off. You can see the remnants of the plywood, as Gemma was saying. So what are we going to do about that? <laughs> Put a big massive bit of wood all the way down the bit. Yeah, wood, <laughs> wood fixes everything, doesn't it? Right. What time is it? Paint your boat time! I was going to say it's dinner time. I think it is, my belly's rumbling. <laughs> <laughs> she missed any bits. Yeah, yeah. of course I have. I'll soon let her know in a minute when she's missed a bit. I'll go, you missed a bit. It is a nice classic boat coming past, so wait for it to get a bit closer and I'll show you. So one of my neighbours who owns a brewery, um, he gets loads and loads of these. Um, got like lids for them, and like they're really heavy duty buckets, they're really, really useful. So all we do is pump all the bilge into here, and all the slime that's in the bottom, and then we'll put the lids on it, and then we'll, we'll, we'll take them home. So this is the port side bilge under the engine. So it's a bit scummy. But the water looks quite clean. And uh, not too oily, which is good. Let's have a look at the other side. <laughs> So they're not actually that bad and there's not, well, you know, they do need a good clean. But considering she's a big old wooden boat, she doesn't really get that much water from the bilge and we've not ever sort of pumped these out. So, it's gonna, is it going to stink and be all sludgy? The only reason I want to pump it out is because now that we've started the woodwork, the other stuff that falls down the hull. I don't want it all sort of sitting in the water and clogging it up so it'd just be easier just to clean as much as we can while we're 
just before we start. It's always nicer to work in sort of a clean environment, isn't it? Are you ready? You want me to help? <laughs> you can do the sucking this I'll time. I'll do the sucking. Oh, no. I am a sucker. Sucker! I suffer for that sort of stuff. Right, so we need to attach this hoover to a white bucket. So, bucket lid on. That end needs to go to the hoover. And this end needs to go to Sucky Simon. We're actually really struggling to film in this engine room because, like, it's so compact. Well, it's not compact. No, it's not a compact engine room at all. A lot of stood up, you know what I mean? But like, it's just sort of you know, pipes, wires, all sorts everywhere. Right, you want you on the sucky end. There's a the sucky end. So you're all this one. I've got no hands. Oh, no, wow. Well. <laughs> so can you explain what's happening with this bucket? All the stuff from in the bilge. We'll get sucked up. This pipe. That pipe, and it will go into this bucket without going into the hoover and constantly clogging up the hoover filter and stuff like that. And then we haven't got to keep taking the top off the hoover and unplugging it. And yeah. We can literally just keep changing the lids to new buckets. Yeah. So we need to pause this for 10 minutes <laughs> because I forgot I've just put some pies in the oven. And between the oven drawer and the hoover drawer, it was sort of max on power <laughs> because our Victron system only sort of like 3000 watt and the oven pulls about 1500 the hoovers like 15 to 200 so 1500 to 2000 so we're gonna end up sort of out of power if we keep running both at the same time so we're gonna go and finish our pies are nearly finished in the oven mm, steak pies so we're gonna have dinner and then hopefully we'll come back and carry on sucking out the engine room I think we've got to run out of buckets in a minute. It's not easy to film. It's our last bucket now. Right, so yeah, I thought I actually had more buckets on board, but next time we'll bring some more. So we'll take these back and then we'll um, try and figure out what to do with them. Maybe we'll ring our local council and see if we can tip them there. Or carry them back now, mm. Right, we'll add them to the pile for the next rubbish removal. Yep. Go and find some lids. Are they what you call like glory holes? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expected to come up with any weird words. I was expected to come up with something really intelligent. <laughs> Not from me, dear. Right, next job before we get these frames in is we're going to cut because we've still got water. We can't go out and copy nail anything. So we need to get a sister for this and a sister for this. So we may as well get them measured, cut, and prepped. So this one, obviously we've got a packet here, so we're going to sister it along the bottom. And this one, we may as well just sister it along the top. So how are we going to get it in? 
Ooh, are you gonna get a big solid piece of wood in that doesn't bend into the area that we need it to go to? You're gonna heat it up? No, we're gonna cut it up. I was kind of hoping that Gemma would point the camera towards the saw, but never mind. Right, so we've now got our pieces of material. Um, trying to explain what's going on in the end, Gemma, while, but. Three pieces in one. So hopefully we can bend them in. Yes, that's our plan. Right, we're going to cut these now, um, and then we'll try and get them in. So now we plan it. So what, this is this is for this one, is yeah. it? So you need to. I need to go long down here. The plan is to go that way. Hang on, you're in the way now. Right, so coming in here. Just trying not to tie all these wires too much. Right, give us a shove, Jim. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We're looking, yeah? So now we should have. So that's going to go all the way along there. Hold on, let's get the wires out the way so we're not fighting with them. That's actually a genius idea, that Jemma. Cool, so we've now used cable ties for their intended purpose. It's looking good, don't it? I don't want to push it down too much because I don't want to leave a gap to fill it with sealant. Held up. What we need to do now is epoxy this, turn that onto it, drop that down, epoxy the other one, drop it down, then clamp it all up and then glue it to this and then put some bolts through it. <laughs> okay, so question. There's a question. Um, Should we get the get it sealed now? Sealed with glue. Okay. Yeah, okay. Push the bottom one down. Yeah. Screw. Oh. Screw the bottom one to there because then it'll it'll get a nice and then epoxy it, do the next one, epoxy yeah. it, do the next one, because then you know the bottom one's got a good fixing. So I think on the next one we do, what we don't do is put all three of them in, for, in together. We put the first one in, fix it, bonus, beautiful. Always learning. Okay, so I've mixed up some epoxy. So, let this one epoxied. So, more epoxy and the same process on the last one. You really should get a hair colour like me, you know. Do you know, the other week, last time I used epoxy, I got a bit of my hair 
and over time it just went hard and then it snapped and took all that much of my hair off with it. So yeah, the hair is gradually getting shorter and shorter. I'll look like Simon soon. Just not as good looking. <laughs> I think I've got a weird shaped <laughs> head to be bald, you know. You know, it's the sun started to get like, stay in the sky for longer. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? And I've only got two big jackets on today, not, well, I've got yeah. a hoodie and a jacket and not my big coat. Four t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Long johns. Long johns. Cheers. Cheers. Gemma was just commenting a minute ago how she's saying I'm not really enjoying working in the engine room <laughs> There's no space There's no space Can you swing an hammer there, can you? Barely Oh, look at that Oh, yes There you go So I'm liking how my little lines are, are lining up That means both cuts are like similar, don't they? Not that I was anything wrong with my cuts, obviously, but like, right. Just squidging off the excess, and then in a minute when we bolt it up, she'll complain about the excess after after it squidges out. Okay, go on then, bolt it up, <laughs> and then I'll tidy it. Tiny balls up time. See how much oozage we get? Nah, nothing on this. You didn't put enough in. Go on. Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah. <laughs> Thought it was your job. Any particular order, do you? Um, well, where would you start with if it was a head gasket? In the middle. In the middle. <laughs> In the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Hang on. Yeah, I did get it. Yeah, yeah. I was actually watching my own eyeballs. Hang on. My own eyeballs. I like a bit of booze. Because <laughs> if it's oozing, it's full of it. I know we've gone through this. That's my little. My... If, it, if it all is out, it means there's nothing in the middle. No, it doesn't. <laughs> right. It means there's plenty in the middle. Yeah, that's what. Now, yeah, we need to do a dance now because, like, there's no space to work. Stabilizers. Gemma said we need more stability in our lives. So I've got to fix the stabilizers, I think. <laughs> oh, you dad joke. Isn't it great when you've got to work around all crap like this? Right, I'm gonna go and clean up this oozage. So, I'm trying to get these frames in. Up there. And I'm probably gonna jinx it saying this now. Right, but we've had the roof open. And it's not rained. Woohoo! Well done! Wow. You haven't put me fittings on yet. I'm mixing it. Get out. Can you lift that back up a bit? Pretty eager, isn't he? Yeah, a couple of hits. Keep going. Two more. Okay, one more. Couple more. And again. And again. One more. Oh, perfect. Okay, next one. Oh, I just put my hand in loads of epoxy. 
Okay, a little, few little taps. There's something wrong with my machine. Okay. It's gone very loose. But yeah, we're done. Mm. But I've marked the frames because this is like it's loose, so it's got loads of play in it. So it's oh, okay. yeah. so that needs looking at. Okay. I may have killed it, but yeah. So I'm obviously I can tidy up and repaint it and stuff like that. But oh, more um, but I kept coming off the nail because obviously when you're roving but there seems to be a lot of play in this which don't know what's up with it but look so it's like so i'm struggling to keep it there because of all the play so we need to have a look at fixing that okay so i've got a clamp on there just because where the crack was with the epoxy being in it i just want to it was sticking out a little bit so that will keep it nice and tight while the epoxy sets this web frame now it is on a very slight curve so what we're going to do is we're going to go and laminate a new web frame glue it all together clamp it up and then next time we come back it'll all be dry and then we can get it fitted Now, are you sure we've got enough clamps? That was my whole clamp collection, I think. Oh no, you've still got three you could use here. They're, they're like, they're like sort of clothes pegs, them. <laughs> they're not very good. But yeah, that should be alright because it's followed the curve now. Then how much glue did you use? Uh, a lot. A lot, okay, because I'm going to start doing a lot of tests like this because is it worth steaming or gluing? Well, I used four pumps of epoxy. Okay, so I mean, the amount of energy it takes to steam and the time... I suppose this takes time, doesn't it? So the time, time is not an issue, it's about the energy. Yeah, but we've had that done less than what it takes to yeah. steam. Yeah. I know it's cost more than epoxy, but if you think yeah. fuel for the generator for the steamer... Yeah, and noise and that, yeah. But yeah, it's a lot of tests to see. It works out, it should, should work out really well, it should be super strong, shouldn't it? Hopefully, because I think we're going to need to laminate quite a lot in the engine room. Yeah. And especially in the aft. Especially in the aft, yeah. Cool, right, so we're going to leave that to dry. Yeah. Have a quick tidy up. Yeah. And then we are going home. Mm -hmm. So thank you all so much yeah, for watching. Cheers, uh, come back next week to see even more struggles in the engine room. Yeah. Yeah.